Guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. We got some cool things that we're gonna install today. A couple of mods for our Camaro ZL1, and we picked a name. We're gonna call this from here on out, we're gonna call it Project Punisher. I know it's a bit cheesy, but today we're gonna install a couple of mods that are gonna fit that name, hopefully, with great success, and uh, we'll be able to change the look of our Camaro ZL1 just a little bit. Something in the back that we need to address. I've never done this before. I think that it's going to fit. I think it's gonna look delicious. Like hopefully we'll all learn something at the end of this and then we'll test the functionality. Maybe something that you might be interested in picking up yourself. I paid full MSRP for everything that we're gonna to install today. So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion and feedback. Again, I typically don't normally do this to vehicles. I kind of leave them alone in the back, but today it's all about right here this area right here we're going to do some smoke tail lights and we're going to do a smoked uh gm oem third brake light we went with the oem equipment but the tail lights are going to be aftermarket so hopefully they will function properly and uh, this is a pretty common mod for camaros but uh you know typically i've never like i said never done something like this um on car. I've never swapped out taillights on cars before. I'd usually just leave them alone. But but also, we're going to be doing some other things to the exterior here in the next couple of videos to uh, just kind of, you know, hopefully bring the name presence Punisher. That's what we're going to be calling this from here on out. And I think it fits. Yes, it's cheesy, but I like it. And uh, my car at the end of the day, I guess. So <laughs> hopefully you guys out there had a good Christmas. Got to spend some time with family. Remember, Christmas is all about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So all glory to God. But we're about to roll into 2022 and we're gonna be kicking it off with a bang with some cool modifications. I do eventually wanna do like the marker lights. I think that that's gonna be a must have too. Hey guys, and if also, if you're catching this video in time, we installed something under the hood. I cannot show you in this video. You're gonna to have to subscribe if you wanna see what's up. But we installed something to give the car a little bit more power. Yes, we did a power modification to the ZL1 and something that I'm testing from Corsa. We will be the first in the world to reveal this on YouTube. Now this modification is already installed on a couple of test cars, but there are no videos in the world that exist with this mod and it is sitting under the engine bay and I've been testing it out for a couple, I wanted to be able to put it on the car, test it out for a couple of days. That way when I bring you that video, I can give you my honest opinion and feedback. But I digress guys, let's get back to the garage, install some goodies on our Camaro z one let's go. All right guys, back in the garage. So what we did was we bought the OEM, not the aftermarket, but the OEM third brake light from GM. And that way we don't have any issues. I think most of the issues that come with the aftermarket stuff is the strength of the, the plastic back here. Definitely always better to go with OEM. Now, as far as tail lights, I looked and I was gonna go OEM, but I couldn't find some. And there is a significant cost difference. Uh, if you go aftermarket like these, they are, you know, half the cost. But always OEM is definitely better. So um, hopefully we have success with these inside, which I'll show you in a second. But I mean, this is basically what we're gonna do is replace that third brake light there and uh, give a more sinister look to Punisher. But anyway, let's open up the taillights from V-Land. And uh, again, I paid, you know, full MSRP for these. So, you know, my thoughts are my own, but these are an updated version, you know, for, I think they did an update in like 2019 or something like that. They come with this new harness that ties into your third brake light. So you don't get any of the hyper flashing that, that plagued, you know, some of the earlier models anyway. So hopefully that works like it's supposed to, but I've already peeked and I've already opened them up and inspected for, you know, anything wrong with them cosmetically. So this is it though. This is a, um, not the full smoked out version. This is a smoked and clear, but the LED strip is going to be a little bit more narrow than the factory version, but I think it's going to look really good. This is the updated version. So this is going to plug into, I don't know, we'll have to go through the instructions and figure it out, but it should be pretty easy. I think that actually goes into, yeah, that's right. It goes into the harness here into the third brake light. And this is what's going to prevent the hyper flashing and all that. So pulling these out is honestly pretty easy. I'm not gonna bore you with taking everything apart because it's been done on YouTube a bunch. And then, um, yeah, stay tuned because we have some more cosmetic stuff coming to Punisher here very shortly. I'm very excited for what's coming. And then the power modification under the hood, like I talked about, you're gonna have to stay tuned for 
I'm not going to give away secrets, but I'm going to tell you it performs very, very well. Picked up a little bit of power. I'm really excited about it, but uh, stay tuned for those videos. But I digress. Let's get started. Let's deinstall these factory taillights and a third brake light for our new stuff. And I think it's going to look good, but hopefully it will perform the way we want it to. Let's go. This one is in and it looks good. I'll give you, let's give you a little tease of what this is going to look like. So look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. We went the amber style. Uh, I don't live in California, so I'm not worried about, uh, you know, their regulations and all that, but we went with the amber style uh, turn signal. So looks sharp. All right, let's continue on. All right, making progress. So got this all cleaned up and I've got this pigtail harness that it came with. Okay. And it goes in between the stock plug and in between the new brake light. And then this will wire in once I figure out how to run my lines to each of these guys going into each tail light. That's going to eliminate any of the problems of flashing lights and all that stuff. So this is kind of a new revision that they've come up with for, I think, in the past uh, year or so. So it's pretty new. All right, updating the video as we go. So I got a little custom with my wiring. So the way that I've run it, I think, is the best way. But you're going to have to extend one of the wires here, which is what I've done. And uh, what I'm going to do is I don't feel comfortable electric with electrical tape, the regular stuff. So I ordered this special stuff right here which will actually be amazon tomorrow and i'm gonna follow through and make a new harness so it will look completely factory and it goes up under tucks them up under the uh, the carpet here so the wire the red wire that comes back here for the uh, the flash stuff anyway comes through this area here this hole because on the other side hopefully you guys can see that right down there is like a little sponge washer anyway so get that tight and then following through on one of the holes one of the one of the sides here uh just come through anyway it won't pinch the wire if you do it this way and then i've just extended the wire come under here and then all of my excess is under here so when i get the new automotive loom which is like the same stuff they use from a factory you'll never know to the untrained eye we'll never know that this is aftermarket and all of the wires and everything are going to be hidden this for example you know you put your factory cover back on and at the end of it, it will be completely OEM factory looking. All right, guys, just like that, we are finished with the ZL1 new tail lights. Man, they look delicious. I've already tested them. I'm going to show you on camera what they look like, but spin the camera and show you the new look for Punisher. This looks good, man. Normally, like I said, I don't normally do stuff like this. This really completes the look. So we have the course of black tips back here. Now everything else is blacked out and it matches the front headlights. Everything looks OEM, looks perfect. I love it, I dig it. But let's show you the functionality because it is quite a bit different than the way that it was before. All right, guys, that is going to conclude the video. I hope that you like what you see here. I certainly do. Straightforward installation. I just extended the one wire, but honestly, there's really nothing negative to say at this point. I guess we can do a follow-up video in the future to see how they're holding up because they are aftermarket. Now, the third brake light, like I said, is OEM, so I expect no failure, nothing weird like that, unless there's like a pigtail interference issue going on with the aftermarket taillights. But as of right now, I think it's a home run. Pretty straightforward installation. Took me about an hour. Just extended that one wire and then be crafty with your hiding the wires. I'm going to finish up and make my own 
own loom harness so that it will look 100% factory OEM at the end of it whenever you pop the trunk and then uh, you will never suspect a thing honestly but I think uh, it looks really cool with the the new turf signals let me know again what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video get ready for more mods they're coming 2022 we're gonna kick it off with a bang all right I'll see you guys later god bless